Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Akanksha. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the Blendable. Finally, like I, I posted a screenshot of purchasing this on my Instagram, and people have like. literally filled my dms and asked me like you know for a review so yeah today we are going to review this like it's not basically just a review because i've seen like a lot of people just posted like the first impressions and review type of thing but i have thoroughly tested this for almost like 20 25 days now and uh, i have all my thoughts noted down so let's get into the video and i'll tell you guys everything I'm going to show you comparison between a normal beauty sponge and the Blendful. So I'm going to use the normal beauty sponge on the left side of my face, and I'm going to use the Tati Beauty Blendful on the right side of my face. So before getting into the video, let me tell you, I've not watched a single review or any video related to the Blendful except for Tati's because obviously she's the creator. I had to watch it, and uh, other than that, I've not watched a single video or review because I wanted to have my own opinion about this, and it was a task for me to not see any. single review because it took a while to get the blend full the thing is i ordered like i guess after 2 3 days of the launch of the product and uh, like let's get into the video and then i'll tell the story or else it's going to be really really long so i'm going to uh, prime my face with the milk hydrogel primer i bought the mini to just try it out and i'm in love i'm definitely going to you know buy the bigger version and i'm going to use my fingers to apply the primer because that's how i always do i never really use a tool to apply primer i feel like you know when you're prepping your skin your hands can be really good to just get everything inside your skin make it ready for your makeup is really good it's so tacky that you know it makes your foundation and everything stick to your skin really well i really really like that uh, primer if somebody is going to come from us i'm going to order that for sure so on the left side of my face i'm going to use the sponge i always use this is the wise she sponge the link will be in the description box and you can use my code to get a discount anyway uh, and the right side is going to be the tati beauty blendful so i'm just going to go in with uh, my fenty beauty hydrating foundation i'm in the shade 300 this might be a little 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 light like little little light right now because uh, i'm a little tan from uh, my andaman trip So what happened was I ordered the blender for like three, like three to four days after the launch, and I was super excited. I was like, you know what? It'll reach to me in ten days, and I'm going to review it. I mean, I adore. Like, I'm super huge, huge, huge. Like, fan girl moment. Like, whenever I see uh, Tati's videos or anything, like, I really, really, really love her. So I was like super excited for the product and everything. But uh, look, uh, I waited like you know for ten days, fifteen days. I was checking the tracking, and it shows like you know it has been delivered to India, like Delhi in India. But um, the product has been stuck in the Indian post office for like almost ten days, according to the tracking. Uh, so I contacted Tati Beauty. They said you know just wait for twenty one days. Sometimes the package you know can be a little delayed. So just wait for twenty one days, and if nothing happens after that. we will you know do something about it so i'm like okay fine i'll wait for 21 days and i'm like you know sometimes it does take a lot of time by the you know indian post office i was like okay fine then i waited for a couple of days it was 21 days 22 days so i contacted them again uh, they said you know just contact your local post office and see what is the issue why it has not reached so i contacted my uh, you know indian post office and they say the parcel is not even here like they didn't receive any parcel with such tracking id or anything they said it must have you know been misplaced or something by the usps and everything else like but then it shows on the usps website that it has been delivered to delhi like but then on the indian post site like it there's no such existing product or anything which has been delivered to india it was still in under the usps so they didn't get any parcel or anything then i told this to the customer service they asked me if i want a refund or they asked me if i want a replacement then i was like of course i want a replacement because i really want the product so they sent me a parcel again and uh, i again started tracking it and a couple of days later like it start comes from la right so sorry it comes from california and then 
I don't remember the place, Crompton or some place. It got stuck there again. Uh, three days passed, four days passed, five days passed. It's not changing. It's stuck in the same place again. So I contacted the customer care. Last time also the same thing happened, and you know I did not receive my parcel. So please check it out. I I was like I don't want to miss my parcel this time. I was really 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 looking forward to try this product. So they asked me to you know wait for like again 21 days and you know then inform like. If, I have like not received it yet, but uh, luckily, luckily, finally, what happened is I received the product a day or two later. Like it just skipped a scan in one of the stations, so you know there was no tracking or anything for it. But you know it's kind of a little scary for a person who just orders something. For, I, I've ordered a lot of times like from the states, so I'm like kind of used to it. So I was, I, I, like, I was really patient about it as well. So like it's okay, fine. It happens. That you know things get misplaced. It's completely fine. But for somebody who orders it for the first time, and I know it can be a, like a little scary, a little frustrating because it's like from country to country. It can something can happen in customs or something like you know things can happen uh, in between. So anyway. That's the foundation on. So this is how the blendable side looks, and this is how the spun side looks. Next, I'm just going in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. First, I'm going to color correct a little using the darker shade Caramel, and then I'm going to go in with the lighter shade. So I'm using the sponge again for the left side of my face. One thing which is really nice about the Blenderful is that you know you can get into all the corners really, really well. You can because you can pinch it up like on any side. And you know Tati says like you can use three sides, but you can literally use how many ever sides. Like you can you know pinch this side, you can turn here, turn here. Like you literally have so many sides to work with. So that's really nice, and you can get into all the corners of your face. It's really, really. Useful that way compared to a sponge where sponge cannot get into some areas of your uh, face. Next, I'm going to add my concealer and I'm going to highlight that area. I feel the Blenderful works really nice with minimum pressure. Like I don't have to apply as much as pressure as I apply on the sponge. Also, I feel it works. A lot better with less pressure than more pressure. You just have to lightly, lightly dab on the product, and it blends it very, very beautifully. You don't need to apply a lot of pressure. You don't need to drag the product a lot. So compared to the sponge, you need to apply like really, really less product as well as less pressure because I feel sponge applies more product than the Blendful. Blendful, although it's a cloth, like you know, it's a material, not like brush or synthetic thing. It's just a cloth. It still doesn't absorb as much as product as a a normal sponge would. I love my Blendiful for concealer, foundation, but I'm not able to love it for contouring. And by the way, this video is not sponsored. Like, of course, it's not. Like, why would Tati like in any way sponsor me or send me? I, My mistake, my bad. So anyway, uh, I love this for foundation. I love this for concealer, but I'm not able to love it for contouring. I don't know why. Like it's basically my personal choice. I like my contour to be just in a certain position, and I can achieve that. Only with a brush. Not. I don't even like my sponge for that reason. So it's just basically me. I cannot use a sponge or a like you know blendiful or anything for contour. I'm just not able to get it right somehow. I never liked the sponge for it as well. So I always use my uh, this Morphe brush, which I've always used. Like you see in my videos also. This is the Morphe G3 one. It's angled. It's dense. You know, it fits in really well in my face. So I can just you know buff out the. Contour really well in that certain area, but I'm not able to love the Blendiful for contouring. And one more thing is, I feel the Blendiful kind of uh, makes all the products way too matte. Um, so it's like it's really, really good to work with products which are really creamy, like the Fenty Beauty foundation or the concealer, or for that matter, like all the creamy products. 
but uh, when a product is really too matte i feel that is the problem because um, it kind of tones down the dewiness of the product and makes it a little more matte like it basically uh, you you know it just sets the product in place which is a really good thing it's not a bad thing but sometimes if a product is little too matte then it might make it a little more matte than you know you like it so like for a contour i would like use maybe a concealer or anything like that but the anastasia contour palette you know it's like a like it's a palette of color product in that like even if it's a cream product it's a little matte like it kind of is a little difficult to blend with a brush as well and it's even more difficult to blend it with the blendful so it's just something to keep in mind and um, always contour products something which dry down a little too fast uh, i always like to use a brush because i have a little pressure which i can apply and buff it out rather than a blender full or a sponge so just i wanted you guys to know that next we're going in with the laura mercier translucent powder spoiler alert i love the blender full for powder i love it it is amazing dude like you will just see how well the pop you know the powder just disappears into the skin so i've used the cream product on one side i'm just going to use the powder on the other side you can do that uh, matlab you you can do that or you can just use the other side of it as well i'm just going to use that so i'm just make, going to make sure there are no creases i'm going to take the powder and that's it it gives such a beautiful finish so and i'm going to use the sponge the sponge is really nice like you know uh it's kind of a little difficult to get used to blendful initially because you're so used to use you having that wet sponge you know it feels really nice to blend it's very easier to blend uh, with a very nice wet sponge so it's kind of a little you need to get used to the dryness of a blendful because you're so used to, like if somebody is used to using a damp sponge for their foundation and concealer it can be a little different uh, but it's not bad it's just a difference of a dry and a wet product so i'm just going to set my under eye on the left side as well and after you pretty much like blend your foundation and concealer set it with a you know powder you cannot use the sponge for a lot of things after that like there's no like i would never i've done it before but you know i would not prefer to use the sponge for like you know contouring or bronzing or blush or anything but you can do that with the blender full so i'm going in with my wet n wild contour palette like mega glow contour palette and i'm going to show you such a like you know the finish this blendful gives for contour so i'm going to take the powder side and i'm just going to take a little bit on the sponge so you can see it is coated i don't like the blendful for cream contour but i love it for you know powder like you know bronzing or anything you can see right it just blends the like product into the skin so so beautifully can you see it just blends it so so well it's so easy to work with i love using this product for uh, it saves a lot of time as well it's super easy you don't have to do a lot of work with it so you just place it and dab it away and you have that really nice bronze look it's it's super super pretty and on the other side i usually normally use a brush so i'm going to use a brush and you can see like it's not bad but it's quite easier you don't have to shift a lot between tools you know to do your face when you uh, use the blendful then i'm going in with a blush this is the palladio matte blush so i'm just going to take that again on the blendful and first of all like you know initially i thought i would never like this for a blush because i use a really really fluffy brush like this is the brush i use for my uh, blush because like it's so fluffy it just spreads around like gives that very nice healthy look to the skin but look look you know you will just see what i'm saying you see it right it's so nice so beautiful i really really like the finish this also gives because of the size of the product i guess it kind of is really easier to work with because it's so large it gets around uh, you know really well like you, you i guess you need to be mindful of where you place the product because that can matter a lot about you know where your product is going to be so i'm just going to take my other side with a blush brush 
and going to blush my face now uh, I forgot to contour my nose a little earlier so I'm just going to take the blend full I literally bronze up my whole nose because that's the way I like it. So what I'm trying to say is that the texture of the product oh, it fell off. So the texture of this, you know, blendful kind of is makes it really easy to blend. I do I I cannot explain it. I I I am like really bad with words and all, but I don't know the texture of it makes it really good for powders. I don't know why I absolutely love using this for my contour, for my blush. But there's one one tiny problem I noticed with the Blendiful is like you know once I've done my makeup and I set it and I'm good to go, I don't really feel comfortable using this again to go in and correct anything because I feel it is lifting off the product a little bit like. Uh, what I do is normally I set like my face and I go in with the sponge and press all the product inside. So I do I cannot do that with the Blendiful because once I split my face, it's wet, and if I'm going to take this around it, it it lifts off the product very weirdly. So I cannot do that with the Blendiful like I can do with the sponge. So that's like like, like the, so that's a little thing I thought I'll point out. Now the mini Blendiful. Oh my God, this is so 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 cute. I carried this with me for my Andaman trip as well. And uh, like whenever I felt a little oily because this is so tiny it literally fits in your wallet as well you can just remove it and tap off the excess oil so it is really good for that reason as well so you guys see the difference right you know it's super super easy it's just one tool which did all this and here I had to use like three four tools so uh, you can see the difference it is super super blended looks very very pretty as well now I'm just going to use go in with a highlighter and so just adding a little highlight using the Nyga Beauty highlighter product is really nice to just bake or anything like that because of the size of the product like you know like Tati says you can just fold it take the powder and push like it's so easy you can just draw a line draw a line here draw a line here it's that simple and that easy so I'm just going to complete the rest of my face and I'll come back to give you my final thoughts and a little more points which I noted about the blendiful all right guys I am back and if you guys want to see this tutorial you can see on my Instagram I link it below I leave the Instagram handle here so anyway getting into the blendiful um this is an amazing option if you're a beginner especially like you know anybody can use it but if you're a beginner I get a lot of requests on Instagram on generally that you know please suggest us you know beginner brushes a side of brushes which will work for a lot of things everybody needs tools kind of you know to do a look so a lot of people ask me about some uh, beginner friendly brushes or anything like that so I, I think this would be a very very good tool for a beginner uh, one because you know you this is like multi-purpose dude you can use for creams you can use for powders maybe you will just need like a couple of eyeshadow brushes and you're good to go and if you're somebody who just like you know doesn't do a lot of eye makeup or anything you can literally use one blendful to do like your entire face isn't that amazing and uh, and for somebody who doesn't want to invest like you know they're just starting off and they don't want to invest on a lot of brushes or they don't have the money to invest on a lot of brushes you can definitely you know give this a try because this is like 18 dollars like it's not cheap according like in india according to india also like you know it's not cheap but uh, instead of buying a brush which is like you know brush set just three thousand bucks four thousand bucks you could just buy this one product and you're good to go for a beginner like for a pro maybe you know for a pro it's always a difficult thing to just use one tool for everything because you know everybody has their own choices but this is an amazing amazing product and i've even watched it like for more than 15 20 times now and it is still still really really good it takes like a minute or two you know uh you need to like tag it showed it like you know how to clean it really well you need to soak it in let it soak for a minute put on soap let you know the soap break down the particles a little and then you can go on and it just is so easy to clean after that just pat dry like take a cloth take your towel and just pat it okay like if it's extremely wet just pat it for like twice to remove the excess water and it almost dries down so after that if you just keep it on the like you know balcony or some under your fan for 15 20 minutes it completely dries off and one more con like not really a con but uh, i 
always 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 clean my sponge before using it uh, and anyways i always use it damp so the thing is i just wash it right before i you know have to do my makeup so even if it's wet it's fine because i anyways use it damp but for this i need to you know pre plan it like if i'm going to use it and then i need to keep it clean prior like i need to clean it i need to make sure it's dry before i use it so that's just one point i thought i'll point out and one more thing is this would be a really amazing tool for a beginner especially because a lot of people like you would be surprised how many people don't know that they have to wet their sponge so this is the product they can just directly get and use it you don't have to have extra brains or like you know you need to be smart enough to use this this is something like you know anybody can use like a beginner a pro because it's like you know what to do you know you see a you know a puff it's like a puff it's a blender everything you just need to pat, pat it that's like a common sense thing but you know with the sponge you know a lot of people don't know that you need to damp your sponge or something like that so yeah, Yeah, that is the Blenderful review. Like, I did not expect anything less from the Blenderful because Thaji created it. Like, she's the queen. I I love her so much. Uh, anyway, so that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure the subscribe button, ring the notification bell so that you get notified every time I post. It'll mean the world to me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.